name is Jake Castro. My job demonstration is an eyeshadow look inspired by a butterfly. The purpose of this look is more so a creative and fun thing to do and try. So the first thing to do is to keep the hair away from the face and set the face of foundation and concealer and set it with translucent powder on top. Pack on translucent powder underneath the eyes so that way it catches any eyeshadow that may fall. Prep the eyes of concealer and set it with translucent powder so that way the eyeshadow could blend easier. And with the shade that's slightly darker than the skin tone with a blending brush, pack that on into the crease and blend it all the way up to the brow bone. With the blue shade with the firm blending brush, pack that on into the crease and also blend it into the previous shade all the way up to the brow bone. Blend it all the way to the end of the eyebrow too. With a blue shimmery shade with a flat brush, carve out a cat, a cat eye shape that'll end at the end of the eyebrows. And it'll start from the bottom of your waterline all the way to the middle of the eye. It also helps to set the flat brush with setting spray so that way the glitter could pack on better and more vibrantly. Once you have that, repeat it to the other side. To create the bottom of the butterfly wings, extend like your upper eyelid if it makes sense. And go all the way to the middle of the eye and create kind of like a half moon shape right here to create the other part of the butterfly wing. I don't know how to explain that shape, but it should look like that. And repeat that to the other side and with a blue shimmery shade complete the cat eye and extend it all the way to the inner corner of the eye and go back in with the blue shade if you need to but create a ombre effect just like that once you're done it should look like this and repeat on the other side i know it looks a little messy but trust the process with a light blue highlighter shade, I go in with a precision, precision brush and pack it onto the inner corner of my eyes and on my brow bone. Go back in with the shade that is slightly darker than the client's skin tone and blend out any blue eyeshadow that may have fallen out of place so it looks more clean and wipe away the translucent powder. With eyeliner, if you're doing this on another client, I recommend using gel eyeliner from a pot and scrape it onto a metal plate or a makeup plate so that way you don't cross-contaminate. Create a cat eye shape like that. End it at the end of the eyebrows. And go slowly if you need to so that we could be more accurate. And then start from the middle of the eyelid for the bottom eyeliner. And it helps to keep the eye open so that we can see where the eyeliner should start and end if the eyelid at the corner kind of folds like that. Extend the eyeliner from the top of your eyelid so it creates this, I don't know what to call that shape, kind of like the triangle shape right there. You're basically following like the previous eyeshadow shapes that you carved out. Follow it through just like that. And to create the details of the butterfly wing, create little lines in different areas like this. It doesn't really matter. This is more so like a fun organic thing to do. And it really looks pretty when you kind of thicken it at the top and create that little triangle shape within it. Kind of like make little arches. And then repeat the same design on the bottom. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like this. Cause it'll look really good like no matter like what way you do it, as long as it has like the right shape. You should do it just like that. 
And then once you have the details and the shape established, repeat on the other side. And I also made a little mistake at the end, so I decided instead of trying to wipe it away and do it all over again, I will add it to the eyeshadow design. So I created like a little arch or tail that kind of comes out at the end, and I did it to all the other ones. And then I repeated that on the other side. And then for the inner corner of the eye, I created this little triangle shape that extends in and helps make the eye look bigger. And I also did that little shape right there. And then to add more details on the butterfly, I got concealer on a very tiny precision brush and did little dots right there. Because butterflies, they kind of have like that white part at the end of the butterfly wings. And then, of course, I put on mascara and curl my eyelashes. And then for the false eyelashes, I check to make sure it fits my eye, put glue on it, wait for it to dry, and then put it on. Also, this is my first time doing false eyelashes, so I had to teach myself how to do it. The inner corner didn't want to stick, so I was a little embarrassed about it, but it's okay to make mistakes. So I took it off and I tried again. Make sure it sticks on with the eyelash curler, put mascara on to blend my natural lashes, and this is a final look. It was my first time trying eyeshadow like this that is kind of out of my comfort zone, but I really like the way it came out. Honestly, if I were to do this again, I would make it a little more subtle. I didn't mean for it to be this dramatic, but I hope you like it and thank you.